Recently, I just discovered Ghost Spectrum OS, who will breathe new life into your old PC. This operating system has not only been fully customized, but also introduces several new features. Today, in this video, we will test this operating system on our old PC and also conduct a quick performance test at the end to determine whether you should give it a try or not. One more thing, installing this OS is completely safe. It won't harm your previous Windows installation. So let's start the video. Let's roll. First of all, you need to download this zip file and Rufus. You will find the download link of these two files from my website. And if you encounter any issues with downloading, I have provided a tutorial link in the description. After downloading, the first step is to extract the zip file. Then, you need to run Rufus and drag the extracted ISO file into Rufus. Below, you will see an option where you can set it according to your preferences. After doing this, you can start the process. After the process is complete, you need to restart your PC. Immediately after restarting, you should access your system's boot menu. If you're unsure how to access the boot menu, you can click on the I button for instructions or check the link provided in the description for a tutorial. As you can see, the developers of this OS have taken the startup interface to the next level. Now you can access your previous Windows files from here. Additionally, a start menu has been added where you can access system apps. However, I want to install Windows, so I will click on this button. Now you need to choose the version of Windows. I would recommend selecting the second last option because it runs without Windows Defender, which means it will run without lag. However, if you need some security, you can choose the last option. After that, click on Custom and select the partition where you want to install it. Make sure that the partition you select does not contain the previous Windows installation. After the setup is complete, your system will restart about six to seven times, so you need to be patient. After three to four restarts, you will see the boot menu. From there, select Windows 10. After that, enter your username and password. After entering the password, a screen like this will appear. Do not close it otherwise. You may face problems. After this is complete, a pop-up will appear where you need to select the latest version of Windows. As soon as you select it, your PC will restart one last time. After the restart, the command prompt will open on your system, which you should not close. So guys, finally our operating system has been installed, and it took about three to four hours for the installation to complete, but finally, the OS is installed. You can see how smoothly it's running. Now let's talk about the new features that have been added. The first feature introduced in it is called Ghost Mode, which you can access by right-clicking on the desktop. From here, you can further increase the performance of your PC, and at the same time, you can directly clean junk from here as well. There are also other tools like God Mode, Ping Test, Reduce Memory, etc. Additionally, if you go to the Start menu, you'll find all the bloatware apps has been removed, which I found quite impressive. If I show you the RAM and CPU usage in the Task Manager, you'll see that both are slightly high right now because I'm using a screen recorder. However, if I show you externally, both of them will be around 1% or 2%. I also conducted some performance testing, the results of which you can see on the screen. So overall, it's a pretty good operating system that you should definitely try out. I personally liked it a lot. It does have some minor security issues, but if you're just into gaming, you can surely give it a try. In my opinion, I'd give it a rating of 9 out of 10 because it's much faster than Windows 7. Whether you like this OS or not, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a low-end Android OS for your PC, click on the upcoming video on the screen, and I'll see you there. Goodbye.